Hey guys, and welcome to another FIFA 22 Road to the Knockout Team 2 Player Review. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the uh, 84 rated El Shirari from Roma. Uh, we already reviewed the 82 Diata, the Europa League card for Monaco, and he was good. But I think both of these cards I used straight after 6 pm when lots of people, of course, are going onto the game, and the EA servers definitely were taking a bit of a hit. And. Uh, and, and both of them could have got better returns, you know, uh, and Dieta still scored me two insane goals. El Shirari got a very, very good assist for one of the Dieta goals, and that's all he got. But he was so unlucky because he provided, uh, at the end of the day, he was doing everything that he had to do. He, his crossing was very, very good. His through balls were very nice. He was providing the chances to the other attacking players in my team, they just didn't, apart from one time, they didn't go into the back of the net. And that was, and that's always so frustrating when you've used a player where you know that they are better than the return that they got showed to be. You know, you look at free, one goal contribution from three matches from an attacking player. It's not the end of the world, but it obviously doesn't look the best. But he plays so much more better than what his return showed, basically. His pace is fantastic. 91 for acceleration and sprint speed. That's brilliant. His dribbling wasn't quite as good as what I thought it was going to be. He's got 99 agility uh, and even 85 balance. But um, I'm not saying it's bad or anything like that. It just didn't stand out as much as what I thought it was going to do. But a cool thing about Shirari is, you know, for people that have played this game for quite a while, he's a bit of a throwback player. Even like back in FIFA 12, I still think this guy was like one of the most insane players in the game. It was like a 79 rated goal card or whatever. So it's pretty cool that he's coming as a bit of a throw, uh, as a bit of a throwback player. In regards to upgrades. They're going to go through. I, I, I mean, the, the second in their group, it's a Norwegian team at the moment who beat them 6-1 last night uh, that are currently top of it. But they had won their two first opening games. Ultimately, I do think they'll go through. Whether they get all the wins remains to be seen. But um, you, you'd think if they're going to go through, then they'll probably go on and get the three wins. They'd have to win their next three matches, which I still think that they, they can kind of come back from that 6-1 defeat and, and certainly... Go on to win, and they're all still very, very winnable games. But um, yeah, on the whole, decent cards. Just a, a, a annoying that I couldn't quite get the return that I wanted for him, but he plays a lot better than what the return showed to be. He's actually still a really, really good card, going for a pretty good price as well. But anyway, guys, that'll finish off this player review. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.